Hi guys! Today we will learn about present continuous. There are four main points we need to study today. Number one, firm, negative firm, and question firm. It's related to structure. And number two, how to use is related to the meaning. And number three, exercise to check your knowledge. All right, let's start with an interesting game first. Now, can you see? Can you find six hiding words in the picture? Now look at the picture. Look carefully and you will find out six hiding words. Um, let me uh, keep you an example. I say S T O R S S T O R Y here. It's all right. S T O R Y. So you have the story. Story. This is the first word I found. Story. Now it's your turn. You have to find out. You please. Can you tell me the words you know? Noble. Right. Noble. You say the noble here, noble here, on the sofa, right? And the third word is book, here, in the glass. And number four is page, page here. And number five is words, words here, on the three. And number six is read, read, here. Very good. So it's not difficult to find the hidden word. You just look, you just see carefully, and then you can find the word easily, right? Now we will check the answer. We have book, novel, story, words, page, and read. Now repeat after me, please. Listen and repeat after me. Book. Book, novel, novel, story, story, words, words, page, page, read, read. Well done, very good. And now we move on to the second task. Okay. Now look at the picture again. Look at the picture again. You have to make a sentence to describe about actions of uh, people or animal in the picture, and you will have five verb, five verbs here: lie, wear, read, sit, sleep. Total five verbs. Five words here, so you have to make the sentence, make a sentence with the present continuous, and in this sentence have to use uh, one of uh, five verb here, five work here. Yeah. Okay. Um, now look at my example. Term is reading a book. Term is reading a book. So we have term is subject, is it to, is it to be, and reading is verb in, a book is object, okay? So look at the picture, remember five, five verb, five verbs, like where, read, sit, and sleep. You play to can give me an example, make a sentence. The cat. What is the cat doing? Right, the cat is sleeping. Very good. The the cat is sleeping. The dog is reading. Yeah, very good. And mother is reading books. And father is reading a book too. Right. And sister 
uh, the daughter she is reading book ah, very good okay so you just try to make a sentence with the uh, present continuous if you're wrong I will have you check uh, and fix the sentence to become uh, to become complete perfect yeah okay and now we will move on to the firm firm we have to be plus verb in look at assemble I'm watching TV I'm watching TV I is subject I'm um, is to be watching is verb in and TV is object okay and now look at the negative form you have negative form here they are not waiting for us the internet is not working so you have to remember in the negative form you have to put not between to be and verb in they are not waiting for us the internet is not working and the second is question from are they waiting for us is it raining are they waiting for us is it raining this is a yes yes no question so you have to you have to arrange are is to be first the second is subject and the next is verb in and also with um, with the, the questions I have the question words where what when how blah 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 and you have to uh, put the, the question word first and the second is to be subject and verb in where are you going where are you going what are you doing what are you doing yeah it's different right okay now remember uh, remember to the structure in the present continuous form and next we will move on to how to use it's related to the meaning total uh, I will I would like to give you total for 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 so number one things in process at the time of speaking now you want to talk about something which is happen happen with uh, with a happening happening around you or uh, you are you can see you can see it for example it is raining raining outside right and you can see it at the moment and you will do the present continuous also things in process around now it means uh, it, it happen around you but you cannot see you just know about it uh, for example you have you have a friend term term it have driving lessons actually you cannot see at the moment you cannot see them have have driving lesson but you know you know them have driving have driving lessons uh, as his class you know maybe it um, told you uh, yesterday about that I mean the first you have to use the present continuous when um, things in process and uh, at the, the time of speaking and also uh, in the process around now it happened around yeah number four a situation is uh, temporary a situation is temporary I'm working at home this week I'm working at home this, this week um, I mean you you don't work at home long term you don't have to plan to work at home long term you should work at home temporary temporary time and you know exactly the time you will finish one week two week and then you will do the present continue to talk about that I'm working at home this week and also you have to use 
often use term expression to um, uh, to to go with uh, the present continuous. For example, the adverb here, now, right now, at the moment, at the present, nowadays, these days, still. For example, I'm reading a red book at the moment. You have to express, express the term at the moment, and then you will express the process. You, what are you doing? Express the process. What are you doing? I am reading a red book now at the moment. Yeah, so it's easy to understand, right? And the second, you need to complain, complain about the repeated action. It's related to the have, have behaviors or the habit you don't like. You don't like um, by in yourself, or you don't like uh, you don't like what happened uh, with others. They have the behaviors you don't like. For example. I'm forever losing my dog feet and remember to put on ways constantly forever in the sentence when you complain about something and use the re present continuous I'm forever losing my dog dog feet okay and also and also in situation for example you have the SM Big one test in speaking speaking test. Um, the uh, the teacher teacher can give you the picture and then you have to de describe something in the picture. So you have to use the present continuous to de describe the picture, telling a story or sum summarizing a book from a play. Yeah, and you remember to. To use the present continuous to talk about it. Now can we move on to the exercise. Uh, however, before the exercise, I would like to summarize. I would like to summarize how to use the present continuous again. Number one, things in process at the time of speaking are uh, in process around now. Number three. Changing a situation. Ah, oh, sorry, I forgot. I, I forgot changing a situation. Um, changing a situation is mean, for example, your English is getting better. You want to talk something in the past is not good, but try effort, effort, and do a lot of things. Try to make, yep. Then you will have the the better. The better result so other people will stay with you your English is getting better I realize about that hmm so you need to use present continuous when you talk about something changing a situation okay um, remember to uh, to use the the structure like this and number four, a situation is temporary. Temporary, I mean, uh, it is not happen in long term. Yeah, you have the plan already, and you realize when they when it will finished. Okay, and also remember to put the adverb in the sentence to express time to express your process. Complain on way, constantly and forever when you would like to. Uh, complain or would you would like to talk about something behavior of other repeated action a lot of time you don't like you don't like that and when you tell a story you remember to use present continuous to describe the content yeah okay um, now we move, move on to exercise to through our phone to our phone now to our phone I check the exercise for you already here so wait sorry to let you see the answer already 
But we can, we can, we can, we can fix this again. No, no worry. Okay. Now to to our phone. Now check, check, check for a sentence, and you have to realize which one uh, is suitable with the present continuous. Number one. I'm working in London for the next two weeks. I'm working in London for the next two weeks. Do you remember about um, how to use a uh, resin continuous? And it's related to number number four, right? Number four, a situation as temporary. Yeah, temporary. I'm working in London for the next two weeks. This means you have the plan already. You realize that you are working in London and you have the time exactly to finish um, is in next two weeks. Okay, so number one is two. And number two, the children are growing up quickly. So the children are growing up quickly. It's true because you say the children is um, say how many children a lot of children talk about a lot of children so you need to use to be is are growing up quickly okay and number three I'm understanding you I'm understanding you right or wrong to a phone the answer is phone because because when you want to talk about something uh, related to thinking you cannot view present continuous you have to use the uh, present symbol so, so we will fix it become I understand I understand you the, remember um, when you talk about something related to thinking you cannot use the verb thinking verb as um, and use the present continuous here so you have to use the present symbol here I understand you Ta-da! this guy is tasting wonderful so the sentence right or wrong the sentence is wrong so you have four why? because when you talk about something it's related to emotion taste emotion so you cannot you cannot use present continuous here and you have to use you have to use the present symbol like this kai kai tais tais just one cake right so you have tasted wonderful Wonderful. Okay. Remember, relate something in thinking, emotion, cannot, or feeling, cannot, cannot you, resonant continuous. Okay. This is um, finished the lesson today. If you have any don't, anything don't understand and you need to explain more, uh, could you write out, write out your questions and I will try to reply you to clarify your question and also if you like this video please subscribe my channel and like and share if you can thank you for your watching my name is me I'm from Vietnam thank you so much